viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone and welcome to LSPDFR. In this video we are going to be patrolling around here in Sandy Shores, Blaine County area in the 2013 marked Sheriff Tahoe we are in right now. And I did put aftermarket wheels on it just to make the um, wheels look better in the snow because the stock wheels did not look right in this kind of environment. So I went ahead and put these wheels on it and we are, like, I, like as you can see, we are doing a snow patrol over here in Sandy Shores. And without further ado, we're going to be taking call outs, doing traffic, and we'll see what we can get into this episode. We've got a 148 on uh, Zancudo Avenue. Alright, we're getting reports of an arrest warrant coming over the radio, and then the criminal is wanted for robbery, so that's a problem. Oh, he is fleeing to the airport, apparently. We are going to be uh, stepping up with him, code 3. He is going to be fleeing from us. This vehicle description does match the description we are given from dispatch, so we're going to go ahead and be engaging with him, and uh, he is not stopping for us, so we're going to go ahead and call in an additional unit and uh, have them help us, hopefully. Oh my god, 1050 with the unit. 1050, okay, I'm going to be stepping this up. He's hitting our officers. He is having a flag out in the vehicle for a felony warrant. And, um, yeah, let's go and get another unit out here to help us out with this. We're going to go ahead and step it up since he was ramming our officer. He almost went for the bike unit, too. If he did that, I would have opened fire on him. Whoa! Watch out, guys. Pulling out from the lights and sirens here. Jesus Christ. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and attempt to pit once my units get caught up. That charger should be disabled, but it's not. The snow on this Tahoe looks so good right now. It just fits in so well with this environment. Um, no, dirt bike, better watch out, dude. Oh, you're going to get hit. Oh, damn, that was so close. Alright, uh, can I take him out? Can I take him out? This vehicle does not have a ram bar, but it is, you know, excessive in size, so we are able to control, uh, subjects' vehicles if need be. I'm gonna turn on my, uh, phaser siren here and go in for a little love tap. This motion blur is really fucking weird. I'm gonna remove it here soon. Okay, I got him, but that vehicle is front-wheel drive, so it's gonna be kind of difficult to pit, um, without it regaining control. So when I pit, I want it to go off to the right, not into oncoming traffic. Watch out, guys. Alright, let's go and try to spin him out here. Wow, what the fuck is going on with the physics? Oh, shit. Not what I wanted to do at all. Oh, my fuck. Alright, let's go and turn around here and go back for him. Let's go and turn off our siren. Ma'am, get out the car right now. Get the fuck out of the car. Get on the ground right now. Get down. That's Fucking required. units are useless, man. Jesus Christ, come on guys. I'm mashing my controller right now to try to catch up to her. Alright, uh, taser, taser. Oh fuck, I missed that. That was embarrassing. Get the fuck on the ground. Alright, uh, we have one suspect at taser point right now. And they're gonna be cooperating at this time. Come on, hurry up, get on the ground. Let's go ahead and get you in custody here so we can get you processed and shit for running for cops. Alright, um... It's gonna run her name here. 1015, suspect in custody. Adam 4, copy. Code 4, Adam. No additional support needed. And I am running on a new uh, microphone arm stand, so I'm gonna go ahead and get used to this new setup that I produced. I went ahead and set it up and everything, and the microphone is in an unusual spot for me. I have to get used to it and all of that jazz. So uh, it'll just take time to get used to it, that's all. Let's go and put her in the back of my vehicle here so we can get her uh, transport out here so we can, we can get her processed and shit. And uh, where is she at? All the way over there. Let's go and hopefully teleport her in my vehicle so we can get this all processed. This Tahoe looks so good in the snow right now. We are um, we do have minimal damage on our Tahoe as you know it is a big ass Tahoe against a little hatchback. So we just sustain little dents and scratches on our vehicle nothing major uh, i didn't get to search her in time so she's just gonna have to be searched by the transporting unit i'll go and keep that door open so i can keep an eye on her and um we'll call transport out here for her and this vehicle is totaled so i have to call a tow truck out for it oh my god yeah the front end got smashed in and totaled so let's go and search the vehicle here and see if we can find any more incriminating evidence on her and um We'll see what happens with uh, with her sentence. Thank you.
Alright, so uh, we found nothing of an interest within the vehicle at this time, so really nothing else we can pin her against except for felony eluding and that warrant out for her arrest and the armed robbery. Can't forget that. So let's go ahead and get a, uh, a tow truck out here for this vehicle since it is totaled at this time and it can't be driven away by the insurance company. This car is trashed. Alright, so um, you should get a flatbed for it because I don't know how the fuck that thing is going to do that, but uh, I guess they'll make it work. Alright, so without further ado, that's going to wrap up this call, and without further ado, we're going to be going back out code for tonight. Dispatch calling unit 6, Paul 20. Citizens reporting, gunfire reporting. We're actually getting handed over a call of armed in individuals over there by the Zancudo River. From uh, our previous call. Alright, uh, they're heavily armed with weapons. I'm not going to expose myself too much, so I don't want to respond with lights and sirens, only just lights. And uh, we're going to approach okay, here and see if we can spot a, a suspect. All available units respond. Criminal is. What's our 1099? I'm not seeing a 1099 anywhere. I'm not even touching the gas and this truck was rolling. I'm not seeing a 1099 nowhere. Yeah, I'm not seeing anyone armed with weapons unless they're hiding or something Attention like that. Units. We have a possible burglary in that was weird. Grande Sonora Desert. Alright, maybe the um maybe the suspect is now robbing a house with a burglary in process progress, so uh, it's gonna be right over here. Alright, we're getting back up. We're uh, told to respond code 3, but minimal response so we can, you know, catch the intruder in the act without um, him hearing us and escaping. Alright, we're not um, going to make entry until the backup arrives. What are you running at me for, ma'am? Where's my backup at? I need to get rid of this motion blur. It's really... It's really doing more bad than good, so I'm not sure where my backup is. Oh, is that the, the caller? I think it is. I think I do here. Came home from minutes ago. I went to unlock my door and found it was already open. The lock was damaged. Uh, I don't know what happened. I first peeked through the door and I heard someone moving around inside, so I called 911 and I think someone's broke in. Go inside for me, blah, blah, blah. Been through it a million times. Uh, here's my bow. Oh, fuck. Okay, dude. You're really... You better hope she gets up from that. Alright. I got... Oh, my God. This guy's gonna get shot. Come back out again, motherfucker. I dare you. Alright. Let's go ahead and, um, make entry into the property here so we can try to subdue the suspect that's, um, allegedly breaking in. So, uh, control E to enter. Sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and go in. Whoa, where the fuck are we? Oh, nice. Go ahead and scream. Scream all. Alright, uh, clear on the left, it looks like. Alright, uh, it's probably gonna be a back room or something like this. This reminds me of a room in, uh, San Andreas, like you steal from his house in the mission or some shit. This room is clear. Let's go and grab a shotgun here and get on the ground, dude. Get on the ground right now. Get down. Don't move. Keep your hands to your side. We're going to be having one suspect in custody at this time. Here is the intruder, Jacob Mathers. Okay, he is valid, not the warrants. Uh, what are you doing in there, bud? What are you, what are you doing stealing? Go to hell, pig. I ain't saying nothing to you. Uh, that's fine. It makes my job a lot easier. I can go ahead and search you and get you processed for a burglary. And if you're armed, it's going to be armed burglary. Um, banana, drone phone, and pouch of tobacco. Oh Alright, he wasn't on. Uh, can people not drive in the snow, especially with that big-ass truck? Like, really? Alright, this Tahoe looks really good right here, actually. At this angle. Um, we're going to be putting him in the back of my vehicle here. For uh, the following... The following actions he did. You better you better get in that truck right now, dude. Okay. Alright, well, that's going to conclude this uh, call out. We're going to have transport come out here for him. He was valid, knowing the warrants, and he was all clean. 
and uh, nothing uh, on him. Not too sure why he would be robbing a house unless, you know, doing it for fun or some shit. So, um, that's gonna conclude this call out. Without further ado, we're gonna go back code 14. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Alright, we had that vehicle. We almost collided with him because he was uh, running that stop sign. He fa failed to stop completely at that stop sign. So, we're gonna be checking him out, pulling him over, and, uh, you know, bitching him out because we could have easily collided with him right there and uh, had a major traffic collision. So,. Um, let's go ahead and stop. I'm right in front of the station, actually. How convenient. Oh, it's reported stolen, also. So that's a problem. Let's go and get him all the way off to the side of the road. So we can have as much working space as possible. And, uh, we're gonna approach, like, we don't know it's stolen. But he probably knows it's stolen, so let's go and approach here. That's Tahoe. Looks really good today. Alright, so let's go and get out here and, uh, hey, sir, how you doing? Stopped you, uh, for driving like an asshole back there. Um, okay. let me go and get your ID you registration proof of insurance here. Thank you. Hink call. There it is. Hink call. Let's go and run him. Whoa, he is wanted by the LSPD, so we are in front of a police station, so we don't have to worry about calling for backup. Let's go and order him to step out so we can deal with the passenger here. Alright, sir, go ahead and, uh, you have anything in a vehicle that should, okay, no idea, probably because it's not your vehicle. I am okay, dispatch. Question driver, uh, have you been drinking? Nope. Any illegal drugs? Okay. He's being very stingy. Let's go and order him at the vehicle here. And, uh, sir, come here. I'm gonna go and search you and detain you for my safety. Don't walk away. Don't walk away. We're gonna have a big problem. Stop right there, dude. Stop. Alright, sir. you will be placed under arrest for... Okay, he's gonna be pushing me away at this time. In the dry... In the fucking... Okay, nice. He's getting in the vehicle and taking off. Nice. Nice. That, that's a stolen vehicle, bud. You're not gonna get far. I wish I had backup right now. Really wish I had backup. Can't do anything about it. Can't do shit about it. Okay, whatever. He can have the car. He's gonna get stopped here and uh, be put in custody for possession of a stolen vehicle. That's his problem. So this guy is gonna be fucking. I'm gonna be taking him to the station myself because the, the station's like right here across from me. So he's gonna be getting in my Tahoe. We're gonna be processing him to the station. And hopefully later on in the episode we can catch up with that uh, driver that took off in the Emperor. Because that's a stolen vehicle and, you know, that's a problem of him driving it. So, station, well the drop off is going to be right here. Let's go and stop right here and have him, uh, have him dealt with at this time. And when we code for that traffic stop, we'll pull the bow out for that uh, bluish Emperor. And, uh, we'll see what we can get into. Alright, we're going to be stopping this vehicle in front of us for a, uh... A bench warrant and a uh, uninsured flag on a vehicle. I was doing proactive police work and I happened to run the plate on this vehicle and it comes back to those following flags. So we're going to be stopping them and uh, dealing with this bench warrant that they have out for the arrest. The judge probably wants to talk to him or something like that. It's going to get him pulled all the way off over here. Stop right there and uh, we're all good to go. This is a uh, pretty legit pullover so far. Let's see what uh, this traffic stop with holds. Let's go and get out here and have a chat with them. See what's going on with them this early evening, morning, whatever it is. How you doing? Stop. Do uh, for having a flag on the vehicle for uninsured. Let me get your license here, and we'll go ahead and process him. Jason Carver. Let's go ahead and run his name and see. Oh, everyone is wanted by the sheriff's department today. Not sure what's going on, but we're definitely going to be dealing with this. Alright, sir, go and step out the vehicle for me here, and, um, yeah, uh, um, push me again, motherfucker. I'll put a bolt in your scalp. I had enough of, uh, being pushed today. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. There's pursuit, or someone respond code 3 somewhere. Alright, he's gonna be, uh, in custody at this time. He pushed me, so I had a right to put him at gunpoint. Um, he's gonna be put in custody at this time for 
having a bench warrant out for his arrest and we're going to be citing him for driving on an insured, uninsured vehicle. And too lazy to drive him over to the station. We're going to call transport out here for him. We're actually going to search the vehicle here since he is going to jail. We need to find, take inventory of the vehicle since we're going to be impounding it and see if there's any more incriminating evidence to put towards him that he's in possession in. So, yep. Either way, we're going to have to search the vehicle since we're taking inv inventory of it since we're, like I said, I'm impounding it. So hopefully he has nothing in here illegal. Wire cutters, okay. First 30 minutes t-shirt, okay. Nothing too much in there to be worried about. Let's go and call the tow truck out here so we can uh, impound it. Take it to our local impound and um, when he gets released, he can get this vehicle back. And that's going to wrap up this episode, guys. If you, do, if you did kind of enjoy the episode of uh, San Sandy Shores with the snow and the Tahoe, actually, because the Tahoe is very nice this episode. And, uh, yeah, if you did going to enjoy all of that, make sure you drop a comment down below and or leave a like. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video.